Bueno, Vic, eh, arranca una nueva temporada, ilusionante temporada en segunda división, después de una ilusionante también pretemporada. ¿Cómo es el equipo para este, para este debut en un campo tan particular como es el de Eibar? Um, about the first thing is I, uh, I see the team growing. Um, I also see a team this week what is a little bit less than the other five weeks. Uh, I think it's normal when the league is starting, everybody is maybe a little bit nervous or is seeing if they are playing or not. In the end of the game, the, the people need to understand, and I mean the players, um, that the first starting uh, 11 is not the last starting, the last starting 11. Um, because it's a long season and everybody will get his play time. Um, yeah, uh, we are happy to start. Uh, we have to see how we can grow into the season. And the first away game is straight away one of the difficult away game games, I think, because they have uh, uh, the second most home points uh, in uh, La Liga 2. So, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, a nice game, I think, for us to see where we are and how we can grow into the season. Eh, bueno, te quería preguntar por un análisis del, del rival. Comentas que en el Curua es uno de los eh, conjuntos más complicados de la categoría. ¿Qué destacarías y qué puntos débiles crees que tiene y por ahí poder afrontar el partido para conseguir tres eh, puntos valiosos en el Adibu? Cool. The, I think the strength is their home games. Uh, you can see that also what I just said in the points. Um, of course, every team has the weakness. Uh, I think we know the weaknesses of the opponent, uh, but we also know the strength. Uh, I think they will press up high, that sort of things they do all the time, also at home. Uh, they, they have a coach, I think, what he, he's, he's know, he knows what he is doing. So, Um, for us, it's just to see what I already said, to start into the season, to see where we are, to see where we are when things are going bad, because we lost also like two personalities in the group, I think, with Haras and with Manu. Uh, we have to see how we, how is standing up in the group when things are not going good, uh, because that is very important um, to see how the group is doing when things are a little bit difficult, uh, when things are difficult in the season, and not only the players, how everybody is acting when things are going a little bit against us. Um, but I'm not worried. Uh, I've been there before. I know how things are working. Uh, and that's why we need to be focused on every game, game by game. And this will start first with this away game. Uh, Seinfeld, the results of the season no valen. Pero sí que es cierto, ayer escuchando a, a Joseba Echeverría, eh, asegurando que estaban en alerta ante la llegada del Castellón por esos resultados, esas goleadas que, que ha obtenido. No sé si prefiere que le tengan en cuenta ya al Castellón, que sepa qué equipo es, o preferiría un poco más de, de tapado, más escondido. I don't know, every coach has to prepare his, his team how he wants. Uh, we prepare our team, I think, very good about every opponent, because we respect every opponent very highly. Uh, and especially in this league. Uh, we are new in the league. We just need to focus on game by game and to try to maintain the league. This is the most important for this club also in the future. Um, because this is, I think, uh, why we promote it. And this is also why I think we need to maintain the league because we need to grow as a club very, not fast, but slowly in a lot of Things has to need, has to be. They are good in the club, but there are a lot of things also need to be better in the club. Yeah, in, the, in the end, you want uh, your squad fixed. Uh, but it's almost not possible because the the market is still open. Um, for me, I think it's important that we have one defender more. Uh, I think uh, it's also necessary that we have a striker more, uh, like in number nine. Um, but yeah, we uh, at the moment it is what we have now, and we start into the season and. I'm very happy how the players perform, who we have. Um, 
the new players need maybe more time, but that's what I already said. That was last last year was the same. Uh, we were in the same position, maybe even a little bit worse. We had some visas not uh, right. We had some other uh, signings not uh, they were not there. Um, so in that case, I think we are in a good place. But we are in a league higher, so um, we just need to grow into the season. And I'm going to say this uh, every time. No, no, eh, ya lo habéis comentado, ¿no? El Eibar va a ser un rival difícil, ya se cerró las puertas de los primeros dos semanas temporales. Pero bueno, vosotros supongo que lleváis con muy buenas sensaciones, ¿no? Después de la pretemporada con, con solo una derrota y un empate, el resto victorias, eh, supongo que confiados en que se puede conseguir, ¿no? Esa primera victoria, empezar, empezar la temporada con, con esa ilusión. Yeah, I think. Um... Of course, we have a good preseason, um, but uh, for me, it's always uh, interesting how we start into the first game and what happens after that. Um, I think not there is not one team ever prepared 100% to go into the season because you just need time to go, to grow into the season. Um, it's going to be difficult there, I know, but also I have a lot of confidence in my own team. Um, we know how we want to play, um, we already spoke about that uh, and also how we train, so in that case there will be not a lot of changes. Um, this is how we're going to do it also, we did it in pre-season, so it doesn't make sense to change that. Um, of course we can change some other things because we respect the opponent in how we can do things against them. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm just happy that it is going to start because you feel that also this week uh, I think everybody is uh, is there to start the season and um, and how we can see where we are during the during the first coming five, six, seven games. Um, respect to the convocatory, I think this year will be the same. I don't know if there will be convocatory or not. And if you can tell us, I think that Salva Ruiz is the only injured. We have seen Dani Villarmos with a mask. I don't know if he will have any problem to play or if there will be a surprise for a player that will not go to travel because he might be able to play in the game. Dani is fit, so he had an operation on his nose in the summer, like he did last year, I think. So he just plays with a mask to protect uh, Salva Reyes. Salva, he had, has a little bit of a difficult injury from last year. It takes longer, um, but he's coming close, I think, to train with the group. Uh, hopefully next week he can train a little bit more with the group. So, uh, yeah, but that takes also a little bit more time because he, he misses, uh, last year he almost also misses the whole preseason and now it, it's even a little bit more. Um, so I think it, with him it takes a little bit longer to come back, um, but overall with all the other players um, or something must happen today, uh, everybody is fit. Uh, Calavera had a little setback, but also because of his injury of last year, he had a little setback in Marbella, but um, he is fit enough to start on the bench. Ha hablado de los primeros 5, 6, 7 partidos. La verdad es que es un calendario bastante duro, mirando que varios equipos, el Eva y el Oviedo, se quedaron cerca de subir a, a primera división. Luego también hay partidos en las primeras jornadas contra equipos que bajaron de primera división. Y le preocupa, sobre todo teniendo en cuenta que es un equipo nuevo, que los resultados también en general. No, I'm totally not worried. Even if the results were not good, I'm still not worried because I, I just know it's going to be. A long season, difficult season. Uh, you can have a very good start, and you can have like a mid-table bad results, because this will happen. This will happen with every team. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, in in that in that time when you have not the best results or not the best football, you need to stay calm. You need to work hard, and you need to stay close to each other and to help each other. And that's for me the most uh, important. So, even if you ha would have a good start for me, there is not a lot of Difference. Sí, me gustaría preguntarte un poco por bueno, el debut también, la categoría de debutar en España, un poco cómo está a nivel general. Me imagino que ilusionado, ya vimos también ahí el nivel, ¿no? Con ese canal de Albacete ya para, para empezar, no es un poco que espera en general. Fine. <laughs> I'm fine, so I'm happy to start because uh, pre-season is always, it's something like hectic. Uh, 
it's uh, it's different than when you are uh, starting the league and the pressure is uh, um, when you start the league the pressure comes there during the weeks and during the de the decision makings of uh, of who's going to play against what you play. Um, but for me, I. I don't really care on what level I am um, because uh, for me, when the game is there, it's, it's always the same. That pressure is the same if you play in third league or in La Liga or if you are in Holland or in the Bundesliga. Uh, if you want to win every game, there is always pressure.